In this lesson, we're going to focus on the shadow problem in related rates. So we have a six foot man and he walks at a rate of three feet per second away from a street light and this street light is 21 feet tall. Now let's draw a picture. So let's say that's the ground and here is the street light. Now let's say this is the person. Now let's draw a line from the street light to the person. And so this is going to be the shadow that's formed behind the person from the light. Now we said the street light is 21 feet tall and the man he's six feet tall. And let's say the distance between the man and the light is X. And S will represent the length of the shadow. And L will be the sum of X and S. At what rate is the length of his shadow changing when he is eight feet from the light? And then part B at what rate is the tip of a shadow moving when he is 10 feet from the light? So part A is asking for ds dt. That's the rate at which the length of the shadow is changing. So that's how fast s is changing. Part B, at what rate is the tip of a shadow moving? When the tip of the shadow moves, in this case, that's going to be equal to the rate at which L is changing. So part B is really looking for DL dt. So make sure you understand that. So DS dt tells you the rate at which the length of the shadow is changing, but DL dt tells you the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving. So how can we calculate DS dt? Let's start with that one first. What do we need to do in order to find it? Now for this problem, you need to draw similar triangles. So let's draw the first triangle. That's the large one, where this is 21 and this is x plus s. So that's for this triangle right here. Now let's draw the second triangle, the smaller one, where this is 6 and this is s. Now we need to set up a proportion between these two triangles. And if you're unsure how to do it, here's something that can help you to do it correctly. Note that these two triangles have the same angle, theta. If you draw the large triangle, it has the angle theta. And the small triangle has the same angle theta. And both triangles are right triangles. Now, according to Sokotoa, hopefully you know your trig, tangent theta of the first triangle, that is this one, it's equal to the opposite side, which is 21, divided by x plus s. Now, tangent theta of the second triangle, it's also equal to opposite over adjacent. So therefore, we could set 21 over x plus 6, I mean x plus s, and set that equal to 6 over s. So we have this so far. Whenever you have two fractions separated by an equal sign, you can cross multiply. So if we cross multiply, we're going to have 21s is equal to 6 times x plus s. Now, let's distribute 6. So this is going to be 6x plus 6s. Next, we can subtract both sides by 6s. So 21 minus 6 is 15. So we have 15s is equal to 6x. Now, once you get to this part of the equation, we can perform implicit differentiation. 
Let's find the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time. So the derivative of 15s is going to be 15 times the derivative of s, which is 1, times dSCT, based on the constant multiple rule. And the derivative of 6x is going to be 6 times 1 times dx dt. So now at this point, we need to plug in what we have. Our goal is to calculate ds dt, but we need dx dt. So what is dx dt in this problem? So notice that the man, he's walking at a rate of 3 feet per second away from the lamp. So he's going in this direction. Now that tells us the rate at which x is changing. Every second, x is increasing by 3 feet. So because x is increasing and not decreasing, if he was walking towards the lamp, x would be decreasing. But in this problem, he's moving away from the street light. So x is going up. Therefore, dx dt is positive 3 feet per second. If he was moving toward the street light, x would be decreasing, and dx dt would be negative 3 feet per second. So now that we have dx dt, we can plug it into this equation. So we have 15 ds dt. That's equal to 6 times 3. Now let's divide both sides by 15. So ds dt is 6 times 3, and 15 is 5 times 3. So we could cancel a 3. And now this gives us the final answer for part A. ds dt is going to be 6 over 5 feet per second. So that's the rate at which the length of the shadow is changing. Every second, it changes by 6 over 5 feet, or 1.2 feet. Now let's move on to part B. At what rate is the tip of his shadow moving when he is 10 feet from the light? So this time we need to calculate dl dt. How can we do that? First, let's get rid of some stuff. Now, let's start with this equation, which we had earlier. 21 divided by x plus s is equal to 6 over s, using similar triangles. Now, instead of using x plus s, we're going to replace that with l, because notice that x plus s is equal to L. So therefore we have this expression. 21 over L is 6 divided by S. Now let's cross multiply. So we have 21S is equal to 6 times L. And now in this form, let's differentiate both sides with respect to time. So the derivative of 21S is going to be 21 times ds dt. And the derivative of 6l is going to be 6 times dl dt. Now we have ds dt already, so we can plug it in to this expression. So what we have now is 21 times 6 over 5, and that's equal to 6 times dl dt. So at this point, we no longer need this picture, so we can get rid of it. Now I'm going to work on this side here. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over 6. If we do so, the 6's will cancel on both sides. So on the left side, all we have left over is 21 over 5. And on the right side, we have dl over dt. And so this is the final answer. It's 21 over 5 feet per second. And if you want to convert that into a decimal, you can break up 21 into 20 plus 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 
so it's 4 and 1 fifth. 1 over 5 is 0.2, so dl dt is 4.2 feet per second. So that's the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving when he is 10 feet from the light. Now, these two values we really don't need. So those numbers are irrelevant in this problem. And that's it for this video. So now you know how to solve this shadow problem. Thanks for watching.